hello guys welcome back to my channel and now I'm going to discuss the GoPro freezing problem okay so I experienced this kind of problem yesterday and after I googled it and asked for the troubleshoot I found that many cases that happened to GoPro Hero 4 and Hero 3 uh, like this case this case is the GoPro won't turn on if you press the shutter button shutter button or the power button it won't turn on uh, you have tried everything like charging maybe or changing the battery and it still won't turn on okay now the first step you can try to remove your battery and also your SD card after that uh, you can try to hard reset your GoPro Hero 4 by pressing these two buttons the shutter the, the shutter button and the power button while you are pressing the two buttons you insert your battery pack and then close it and wait for a few seconds and hopefully your GoPro will turn on if it's still freezing maybe you can try the second option by removing the battery pack again and then press your power button for maybe 10 seconds after that you press the shutter button and insert the battery pack hopefully your GoPro will turn on but after the second option if your GoPro still won't turn on you can try the third option the third option is download uh, an original software for your GoPro and update it via GoPro web website I'll put the link below uh, you just put your serial number into the website as you can see this is the serial number you can find find it in here and you put it into the GoPro website and also your email they will give you the download link and the instructions to update your GoPro software manually so the GoPro software manually you can update it via uh, an empty SD card if you have an empty SD card uh, you can put it into your computer and uh, you can put the folder into the SD card and then often register your camera using your email click agree and the next step you will guide it and you can download the newest software the latest software for your GoPro Hero 4 after that you can see update in this update folder you can drag it and put it into your micro SD remember that your micro SD is must be empty uh, and recommended using 32 gigabytes or lower capacity because you have to use with FAT32 format that usually used by the 32 gigabytes or lower and then you can click your update into your SD card when you downloaded the update from GoPro website you will get uh, two kind of file number one is update like this the update folder and number uh, number two is update but zip file you want to insert the update folder like this one and then after that you can eject your micro SD and put it back into your GoPro put your battery in and try to turn it on and then after you put it into the SD card you can put the SD card with the update folder into your GoPro this is just an illustration and also the battery pack and then try to turn it on and if it's working your GoPro will keep rebooting for maybe three or four times until it's ready to use in that case if it works 
maybe it, it's good for you and you have the latest version of the GoPro firmware in your Hero 4. But if it's not working, don't worry. I have another option. This is the last option that actually works in my GoPro. In my case, my GoPro is still freezing after uh, the three options before. So, I'm trying uh, the fourth option. It's debreaking the GoPro. So, technically, uh, these options will make your GoPro firmware delete it from your GoPro and after that put putting a new software into the GoPro but sadly the new software that put it in this debreaker tool is the version 3 so I suggest after you do these steps uh, you repeat the third option to update your GoPro into the latest version because the third version of the GoPro Hero 4 uh, cannot work well with the newest application of the GoPro and also don't have the linear field of view so how you how do you do the four option I'll put the link below to download the debreaker, debreaker tool and also you need to have a GoPro USB cable an empty SD card as well and the battery part and of course the Hero 4 unit this part I'm going to show you how to debrick it via MacBook and but the instructions I put I'll put the link below uh, they also have the instructions for Windows and also Linux so f first thing you want to insert your USB cable into your computer after that you remove your battery and also the SD card then you push your shutter button for maybe 5 or 10 seconds press it while you press it you insert the USB cable into your GoPro this is just an illustration because I left mine I left my GoPro USB in my house so you insert it after that you just leave your GoPro there and we'll go to the uh, computer one thing you need to remember when you are connecting your GoPro in USB mode you have to make sure that no hubs between your USB cable and your camera and also you have to put the USB in the computer first and then you connect it to your GoPro by while pressing the shutter button hold it plug it in and then wait for a few seconds and then release your shutter button it is important because uh, if you don't do this maybe your computer won't read your GoPro Hero 4 so after you download the debreaker tool you got this kind of folder and then you might want to open it and you will get such files like this but if you want to recover your GoPro Hero 4 you should put this file h4 recovery tgz into your empty SD card you should know that you have to empty all this stuff first and then put it in here you unplug it and you insert it into your GoPro before you connect your GoPro into your computer but if you are using uh, GoPro Hero 4 oh I'm sorry if you are using GoPro Hero 3 you can use this file like h3pb h3pb recovery this is stands for Hero 3 plus black TGZ into your Hero 3 but in Hero 4 you can use this one insert it into the your SD card and then put it into your GoPro like this uh, no update first the update is later
like this and you have to erase all this stuff too okay if you, you want to go to the debricker tool uh, you can click, click the link and you will go to this website taper talk and the GoPro forum you can read this this is what you will need and also this is the step part 1 until part 6 and then you can for Windows user you must download the driver to install the software but in MacBook or Mac OS you can go to applications utilities and go to terminal after you go to terminal you can follow the steps this is the steps but you must remember that after the this command should be written in underscore not dash this one said dash but you should go with underscore uh, that's uh, an extra note because maybe the author of this thread uh, got a typo and then after that you can oh you can drag it and then put CD in the first comment so CD users CD users your username desktop GoPro GoPro this is my file directory but in your case you mu you might want to go into downloads after that after downloads you can go into the GoPro USB tools master and then click enter and you will realize that the directory here will change into GoPro USB tools master after that you can type the point h4 h4 is for hero 4 but you also get the you also get the file for hero 3 i'll show you later and then underscore recover underscore for macbook you can choose mac and then point sh see just like this one but you have to change it into underscore after that you can click enter after you click enter uh, click enter your terminal will ask for a password so you can put your computer password into it and then click enter after that uh, the software will running for for this itself and your GoPro will blink on and off until it's done when it's done you can follow the next steps you can see it in here too. Follow the next steps. Remove. After flashing is done, unplug the USB from the camera. Leave the card in the camera. Insert a battery into the camera. So after that, uh, when you're done with the terminal and it is processing, you will see a notification screen in here. And you will see your GoPro blinking. Your GoPro LED is blinking and you'll notice when it's done the blinking is stop and in the front screen there's a text writes that you need to reboot your GoPro after that you can remove your USB cable put your battery pack after that you wait for 10 seconds it is important because uh, your GoPro is installing the device to recover so you have to wait for at least 10 seconds and then try to turn it on in my case my GoPro, my, my GoPro succeeded and and not freezing again uh, by the fourth option after that I get the version 3 of GoPro Hero 4 and then I downloaded the version 5 on the GoPro website and then I, I updated into the version 5 so maybe this trick uh, will help you and make your GoPro Hero 4 works again
but you have to note that this trick only works on this software problem if you have a hardware issue you cannot use this trick uh, but you can try to buy the sensor camera sensor and then the maybe the IC the integrated circuit or the motherboard is involved is involved in your case okay guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment is it working for you or not thank you and also you need to have a tetap record yes also you need to have the uh, GoPro USB cable